All right, so today is our last day. So we've got a late checkout, so we don't have to check out till five o'clock. We've got the room till five o'clock. Um, went out there this morning, which flew with Jet 2, so they do this really great service, which are actually gonna stop this year, which I can't believe. Um, but literally, you check out your cases um, the morning of your travel at the hotel. They collect the cases, you get your boarding pass, and then they take everything to the airport and get it on the plane for you. So literally, you, you've got your boarding passes, you go straight to security when you get the uh, get to the airport. How good's that? And they're getting rid of that service. And I said to them, it's crazy, I'd, I'd pay for that service if it was available, because most airlines don't do that. Um, but yeah, so that's wicked. So we managed to get that service, so we've got all of our cases um, that have already gone. We've got our boarding passes. Um, so we're just going to chill out around the pool today. Jack's gone to the kids club, going to go and collect him at half past 12. Um, and then we'll go in the pool all day. We'll have lunch. Um, and then we'll start thinking about getting ready, getting on the, um, going to the airport about six o'clock. And our flight is about 9.30 this evening or half past nine or whatever. So yeah, not, not the best flight times, but we still get to enjoy the last day. Um, and do what we want. So what we wanted to do was just chill out around the pool on the last day. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah. Right. As you well know, so today is the um, last day of the holiday. So we've decided to come to Siam Mall. A few reasons we've come here. One is because we like it. It's got lots of nice uh, shops and things to do. Um, and two is we're trying to kill time and Sophie's hungry and we need some bits for the plane as well so perfect combination so this is why we come here but yeah so this is what we're doing um, we had a day relaxing around the pool the kids went and had a nice swim um, we had some early lunch as well which was good um, but yeah so now it's just a case of oh yeah look at that dragon Now it's just a case of um, getting ready for the flight and preparing ourselves. Um, the cases all went off, like I said. Um, so we go straight through security when we get there. And then it'll just be waiting and getting on the plane. So next time you see us, we'll probably be on the plane. So before we go back, we've just popped into this place here. What's it called now? It's called Lou's Food Republic. Um, it's like an American diner type thing in the mall at the top. Um, so I've got a burger and some, uh, what are they, coconut chicken bites? Yeah, yeah. it's just um, chicken bites, but you've got um, like a coconut curry dip, yeah. coconut curry I think, we'll find, well, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll see what it's like and we'll let you know. So actually when you come here, there's like a little toy shop and then your kids can get whatever you want to, like if they want a breakfast floor, a T-Rex, Vera, that's the one where they go and they go so, yeah. so they can get whatever they want to and their parents really enjoy it except for my dad yeah yeah well, i don't enjoy yeah. it no 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 because you've got too many toys yeah <laughs> right so we didn't actually realize how much food this is going to be um <laughs> so let me show you so all of this, I mean it was 26 quid, so it weren't cheap, but I've got a proper burger. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the all in there, look at that, yeah mate. Um, sauces, coconut, uh, chicken dippers, but yeah, look you can see, massive. Madness. Yeah, You're gonna like finish all that? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, let's go. So, what did you think of that then? Not last at all. <laughs> anyway, we have got some nice nuggets there. Yay! Jack's happy with them. The chips are, I don't know, burnt, but like... Soggy and greasy. Yeah, soggy greasy, but they're don't really taste hard, nice. I don't know, weird. The chicken nuggets are dry, hard, dry. Yeah. Just not nice. Okay. Know. Like, they're a little soggy, dry. 
So my burger was okay, just a regular burger really, nothing to shout home about. No, but no, I ate the whole no. thing because I was hungry. So yep, but yeah. you're definitely hungry. Right, see you at the airport. Alright, so we're here at the uh, car return in Tenerife South Airport. Um, so yeah, like I said we did auto reasoning. All you gotta do is find your parking space or anywhere you can, put your car in it and then take your keys back to the car. Like the kiosk, which is just there. And then, go in, get on the plane. We're in the airport, I'm just going through duty free, into the terminal. They're all much of a match, these uh, duty frees, aren't they, so. Rubbish. <laughs> All for drunkards. It's all like designed to make a big hole you're missing out. You're like, oh, I want to get this, I want to get that. Yeah, got to get this, got to get that. Oh, that's a good look, Jack. Last minute purchases that you could have got cheaper in the country anyway. And, okay. Okay, we'll get that one. We'll get that one. What you having, Jack? Shark and what? Guess what Sophie's doing? She's giving in to the sweet demon and she's buying okay. sweets. Not, not chocolate. He likes, he likes his it running, doesn't he? Mm hmm. Um, he ends up spending about 50 quid in here. Yeah, with them teddies as well. Yeah. Definitely you will, yeah. That's uh, 11 euros 95, so it's not too bad. How much was it in the park? Do you remember? Oh, okay. Right, so we're now in the terminal, we're in A5. So one big thing that you need to make sure of when you're going to be a British tourist on the South Terminal. So, make sure when you go in the airport, you don't go right, go left. Because all of the UK uh, flights are on the left. So gates one to five, one to six is it? Yeah, one, eight gates. A1 to A6 are always on the left. If you go right when you get in the airport, you're gonna be in for a long walk on the way back to the terminals. Right, after an eventful loading, obviously we had to sit on a bus for about, what, 10 minutes? It was, um, yeah, just, it was the same on the way here. Same on the way here, really, wasn't it? We had to wait for, to load us on a bus. We had to carry the buggy down some stairs. The lift weren't working or wasn't on, so that was a pain in the ass. Um, I don't know why they do it. In this day and age, you think they'd well, either just have a ramp up to the plane or some, or a lift or something, but it's the same at, um, in England as well, it's the same here as well. But there we go. Um, but now we've got just under four hours to fly back. Uh, well, no, the aircon's on now, so hopefully it'll cool down. When we first got it, it was, a, it was an absolute tin box. <laughs> but uh, hopefully it'll be alright now. Kids have got their iPads, Charlie's got his there. Jack's sitting down in Granddad again. Looking out the window. Looking out the window. So, yeah. Now it's really starting to sleep on me. Yeah. Yeah. It's 20 past nine in the evening now. So, it's going to be late for him. Yeah. So, we, we might give you a mid flight update. If not, we'll see you in England. Right, we've landed back in the UK. And yes, it's crap. Um, and there's obviously some sort of problem in the airport because there's loads of people laying around on the floor, loads of people sitting on benches. I mean, take a look. There's obviously something problem. 